Come down here in this hole. You got a three-year, $66 million contract. We're spending every penny of it. New Uptown Subway Connector's gonna run right through here when we're finished. Guess I shouldn't complain. Gotta send my oldest to college this year. Little Darcy needs braces. Twins want karate lessons. <laughs> okay, you got six feet of concrete. So just keep going until you hit the steel, and we'll bring in the heavy artillery. All right. Okay, you guys, let's get to work in that C-frame. Mikey's been asking for that mountain bike. Darlene really wants a guitar. And I need a vasectomy. built 1945. That body's got to be 50 years old. It should be a damn skeleton. Hold this. up a wild story in a paranormal news group. Travel writer Francesca Dutton disappeared over 55 years ago without a trace. Two days ago, she was found entombed in the concrete walls of a New York subway tunnel. Alive. Impossible to believe. But then I read Quatrain 19, Century 4. A maiden cut aloft from humanity, locked in a coffin of stone. Her resurrection a clue for the man twice blessed, though the fate of her soul has been sealed. I'm Jack Dutton. I understand my grandmother's staying with you, Francesca Dunn. Just a minute, please. Fill out these forms, I'll be right back. A medical technician on the scene said Dutton was transferred to the Maple Ridge Retreat, a small psychiatric hospital in upstate New York. I needed an excuse to visit Francesca Dutton. Eddie worked his usual magic and got me in as her one surviving relative, her grandson, Jack. Did the aliens bury her alive? How'd she survive that long? I can only imagine what may be waiting for me in that room. Your grandmother's this way. Thank you. Jack Dutton. That's right. We've been expecting you. I'm Special Agent Henry Verbit, NAMP. 
National Agency of Missing Persons. Oh. This is my partner, Agent Simon. What brings you here, Mr. Dutton? I heard my grandmother was staying here. Where'd you hear that? Philadelphia PD. A buddy of mine down at NYPD picked the tip up in his department. Special Agent Verbit, 54367. Yeah, I need a check. Philadelphia PD. Badge number Bravo-28225. I'll hold. Tell us what you know about your grandmother. Not that much, really. She disappeared before I was born. My mother never believed she was dead. Are you aware of any unusual medical conditions your grandmother had? No. Any record of arrhythmia, circulatory problems, or decreased metabolic functioning in your family history? Not that I know of. Your grandmother was a travel writer. In her journeys, did she ever bring back any ancient charms, talismans, or crystals, perhaps? No idea. Did she subscribe to any unorthodox religious beliefs? Like what? Like the Vodun religion, for one, commonly known as voodoo. Who are you two? We deal with missing persons, Mr. Dutton. You know, Jimmy Hoffa, D.B. Cooper, Elvis. Sometimes these persons' disappearances may involve unexplained phenomena. What's going on here? I'm afraid we can't... Where's my grandmother, and on what grounds are you holding her here? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I see. Okay, thank you. Would you excuse us a moment? So? So Jack Dutton's a police detective and he's a grandson. Let's give him a shot at him. She won't talk to us. Oldham wants us to remain classified. Verbit, that's why he transferred the patient to a facility upstate. And I thought we were here for the Gordon Lightfoot concert this weekend. Verbit, we can't allow the man in that room to know what happened to his grandmother. Oldham would take us off the case. He's her grandson, damn it. He's got a right to see her. Look, if Oldham finds out, I will personally memorize all four verses of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Kichikoi. You know how hot that makes me slap. My hotel room tonight? I'll bring the wine. Be calm. They found her like this. Her epidermis continued to generate cells, but with no light, her melanocytes stopped producing pigmentation. She's like an albino. The eyes appear red because they've lost all color. You're looking at the blood vessels underneath. You said she was found buried in concrete, where she couldn't possibly survive. Does that mean that you're exploring explanations outside of science? Not necessarily. Similar anomalies have been observed in nature, living creatures recovered from stone casing. It may be hard for you to believe, but I'm confident we'll find a scientific explanation for it. I don't know. I know the feeling. Like stone, concrete appears solid, but actually contains fissures through which water, oxygen, even nutrients can enter. Your grandmother's body might have absorbed trace elements. Okay, that's a stretch. But even if I bought it, explain this to me. My grandmother's been missing for 55 years. And aside from loss of pigmentation, she looks like she hasn't aged a day. With near freezing underground temperatures, her body might have undergone a condition similar to that of hibernation, which involves extreme drops in heart rate and metabolism. That's why her hair and nails aren't the length of a football field. Do you have an answer for everything? I can tell you from experience that not everything can be explained through science. What about you? What do you believe? The Museum of Natural History once displayed a live toad 
freed from a block of magnesium limestone 25 feet below ground level. Based on the rock formation, one geologist said that toad had to be 6,000 years old. What are you saying? We don't know what happened to Francesca Dutton. We don't know who buried her in a subway tunnel. Or if it was some kind of freakish accident. Or even how she survived. She hasn't spoken a word. We could use your help. Is it really you? Mom always said she never believed you were dead. Mind if I sit? You're exactly how Mom described you. And then we're beautiful. Do you remember my mother, Patricia? She'd be here today. But she died two years ago. She's dead. Patricia, my baby. Cancer. She lived a full life. She had me. I'm Jack. I'm your grandson. My baby was only six when... Where am I? The hospital in upstate New York. Do you remember what happened to you? Do I remember? To... How long has it been? Fifty-five years. to rest but first I need to know what happened who did this to you no no what's wrong they, they might be out there out there still She meant they might be out there. No, I don't. You made contact. That's a start. Can you come back tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, maybe I can take home some of your files tonight. Uh, check up on the case. We can't allow that, Jack. I thought you wanted my help. Oh, we do, but you don't have clearance. I'm out on a shaky limb already just letting you in here. Well, can you at least tell me what forensics came up with? Her clothes were entirely decomposed. There was a hairpin and a 1942 penny in the concrete. They were probably in her pocket at one time. Nothing else. No other evidence. 
one thing. Verbiage that's classified. I want him to ask his grandmother about this tomorrow. We found it in the concrete. We can't identify the metal in it or determine what it was used for. So, what did you dig up? It's a silver orb, Eddie, just like the ones the Gua used to hold their consciousness before they download them to our bodies. Are you sure? No doubt. That means Francesca's one of them. She's in custody. We got ourselves a live alien, Foster. No, Eddie, no. I saw the pain and confusion. I felt her isolation. I'm pretty sure suffering's human. It was awful pretending to be your grandson. Foster, look, remember, huh? The Gua are very, very experienced at playing roles. I know, I know. It's just... She felt like a victim. Someone who had their life stolen. A subject in an experiment. Just like me. We're close to home plate here, Eddie. The National Agency of Missing Persons has alien evidence. They just don't know it yet. Can you trust them, Foster? Well, there's something about Verbit I like. Ah, oh, wait a second, Foster. My paranoia rate, I just went off. You lose your medication again. Oh, that's funny, amigo. But what, are you going to walk into a national agency and say, oh, hi. I'm wanted murder, Cade Foster. I got some alien evidence for you? What, are you vying for a guest spot on America's dumbest criminals? Relax, I'm not going to tell them that. At least not yet. First, I'm going to help them figure out what happened to Francesca. Her body had to be tampered with by the Gua to survive that ordeal. Jack Duck, Philadelphia PD. I don't know if I should talk to you. This missing persons agent said that... Agents Verbit and Simon, I know. We're working together on a joint investigation. Can you show me where the woman was found? Who built this subway tunnel? Elroy and McMurray Construction. The company's still around? Nah. Closed down in the 70s. Both owners long dead. This is spot. Watch where you're drilling. Don't cut those electrical wires, all right? So, what was her deal? They figure it out? No. What's this concrete made of, ingredient-wise? I don't get paid to make this stuff. Just bust it up. You notice know, anything unusual around here? Concrete seemed a bit soft, maybe. Fell apart in chunks. I figure it was old. Look, I gotta get back to work. I got the lab analysis of the tunnel wall. The concrete facts, as it were? Mm -hmm. Very funny. What am I looking at? Well, concrete contains limestone, which adds plasticity by making it soft. But the limestone and the concrete where Francesca Dutton was buried exceeds industry standards by nearly 200%. So she was encased in solid limestone. Entombed for over half a century. I mean, it's a miracle the tunnel didn't collapse on top of her. But why a limestone? Well, I have a theory. According to ancient legend, she's a trapped soul. A llama in the late 19th century struck a limestone outcropping with his staff. And the salamander crawled out, panting for breath. The llama performed a form of Tibetan yoga called Fowa. Which involves reincarnation. The salamander was, in fact, a man, banished to a Buddhist version of hell. The Lama had to free the man from his limestone prison in order to release his soul. I don't get it. I get it. You're saying the limestone traps the human soul. Exactly. I mean, what if a person was buried alive in limestone? Uh, the soul would be stuck. It couldn't be reincarnated or go to heaven or hell or whatever it is you believe it goes. It'd be trapped in the human body. Maybe even have the power to keep it alive. Francesca said she felt like a hollow soul. This could be an alien experiment uh, in human preservation. And forget cryogenics. Iguala could just store human bodies for centuries until we need them. 
Good work, Eddie. Good morning. Did you sleep well? After a while, I, I lost the images, what things look like, even people. But last night, when I closed my eyes, I saw your face. Francesca, I want to help you. Will you let me? You can't help me. I can if you tell me who buried you. Why you were buried. Secrets between her grandmother and her grandson. Look, I want to figure out what happened here as much as you do. I'll share information, but only if you include me in your investigation. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Okay, you work your way, I'll work mine. You won't see your grandmother again unless you cooperate. Any luck? James Jeffrey Reed, bank executive, New Haven, Connecticut, disappeared 1945. As did Olivia Quinn, college professor, Los Angeles. Beautiful in that period sort of way. Francesca was right. There were two other subjects. They're out there somewhere, Eddie, just like her. Well, I cross-reference the biographical data. As far as I can tell, there's no link between the three. Well, does it surprise me? I didn't know any of the other 116 subjects in my experiment. Question is, how do we find them? You ever hear of a GPR system? Yeah, of course. Maybe. Okay, Mr. Wizard Man, tell me your secret. Ground penetrating radar transmits electromagnetic energy pulses which reflect off of targets in the subsurface of the ground. Rather solid matter. Whoa. Do that again. You stole one back in my thief days. You'd be surprised what people bury on their property. Well, it sounds great, but there's a lot of concrete in this country. Good luck. Hopefully we won't need luck, Eddie. Francesca was, uh, was born in New York City. She was found in a Manhattan subway. Well, what if the Guad decided to bury the other subjects in their hometowns, too? Well, we could dig up old building permits, huh? Find out what major concrete structures were going up in 1945. L.A.'s too big. Let's start with New Haven, J.J. Reed's hometown. It's an easy drive from here. Oh, man. We have a huge area. It's going to take forever, Foster. This is the last place. At least it's smaller than the convention center. Oh, thank God. I had to get out of that place. Why do we have to go during a collectibles convention? I mean, who collects Pez? You see that toy grandstand with those 200 little Pez people? I want to crush their little heads. Especially Papa Smurf. And that guy was bugging me. I don't know, Eddie. I kind of like Pez. Would you help me out here? Where would he be? I don't know. Walls probably made a brick. Foundation.
Check me out. What kind of pool? Concrete foundation will be right under this tile. You getting anything? No, not yet. Hold on a second, Eddie. Fine tune it. I'll be damned. He's alive. This is good work. But why'd you share the find with us? Feeling generous. How about you? Try and breathe slowly. We're going to get you out of here. Work with us. Get your grandmother to open up and uh, we'll share our files. Include you in the investigation. Learn anything interesting about your grandmother? Just reading her travel stories. With World War II coming to an end, she was looking forward to seeing Northern Italy. She never made it. Living life so fully, and spending a near eternity in darkness. So wonder she didn't go insane. There is no greater sorrow than to recall in misery the time when we were happy. I'm Josie Simon. How do you feel? You need to drink. Leave me alone. A little gratitude would be nice. Any luck with the other name on the list, Olivia Quinn? We have five NAMP teams searching for her in Los Angeles. They're using a subsurface radar to comb every structure that went up in 1945. How many were built that year? Not including residential homes. 17,555. We don't know how to narrow it down any further. The subway and school were built by different contractors. I said, get out! You need nourishment, J.J., or you'll die. I strongly suggest you eat some food if you don't want your body to be lowered in another hole. This time, permanently. She's tough. Oh, yeah. Incoming. You know, one-way mirrors don't exactly encourage trust. I'd like to speak to my grandmother alone. Maybe she'll open up. I think that can be arranged. Oh, yeah, and uh, one more thing. We found a connection between the three victims and some old U.S. customs files. Seems Francesca Dutton, J.J. Reed, and Olivia Quinn were all in India at roughly the same time in 1944. The year before they disappeared. You're slipping, buddy. What do you mean? You said there was no link between the victims. Verba checked customs and found one. Customs? You know that I would... I, I, I mean, eventually I would... Damn. We gotta stay ahead of them, Eddie. All right, all right. I'm, I'm on it. I gotta go. Yeah. 
finally alone. Nobody spying. I have a confession to make. I know. You're not my grandson. How? Because you said you're like me. A subject. A subject? In an alien experiment. Aliens? You mean foreigners? No. I mean extraterrestrials from another planet. I know it's hard to believe. What experiments did they conduct on you? It was a test of human will. They killed the woman I loved. Sorry. What about you? What were they studying, do you know? No, do you? They want to create a workforce, I know that much. They could have been exploring ways to store our bodies. Francesca, I need you to tell Simon and Bourbon. Please. I've been tracking these bastards for over a year, but I need help proving what I know. I will. But not without the support of the others. Without their word, those people will just think I'm crazy. You have to find Olivia. How do you know the others? Olivia and JJ? We were subjects together. But you knew each other before. You were all together in India. We were on a trek in the Himalayas. And that's when I met them. I was a travel writer. Did you know that? I read your writing. You wrote beautifully. See the world again. Francesca, just one more thing. The NAMP found a silver orb in the concrete near where you were buried. I don't know anything about that. What is it? A receptacle for alien consciousness. Based on what I've seen, it's how they get here from their planet. Are there many of them? Sorry? The aliens. Are there many here on Earth? As far as I can tell, thousands. What did she say? Francesca was the subject of an alien experiment. Now we're getting somewhere. Will she talk to us? Well, not until we find the third experimental subject, Olivia. Hold on. Alien delusions are a common psychosis following instances of extreme or prolonged isolation. These false beliefs can... Oh, create... give it a rest, would you? You found the woman in solid rock after 55 years. If you can explain that away, then you're the delusional one. Uh, Burbit? He's got a point, son. What? Excuse me. Now's not a good time. I found a connection between the first two victims. A new connection. Given. The structures where they were found, the concrete structures, were designed by the same architect, Frederick Lansing. And he lives in New York. Good work, buddy. Yeah, sure, the feds thought about checking the contractor who built the subway in the school. But did they think to check the architect, huh? Did they well? No, sirree, Bob. I know how to find Olivia Quinn. Oh. Ask the man who buried her. <laughs> Well, let's see what Mr. Lansing has to say. Go away, you pig! All right, pull out your gizzards! Mr. Lansing, we are federal agents. Please open the door. Special Agent Simon with the National Agency of Missing Persons. This is my partner, Agent Verbit. All right, settle down. What do you want? May we come? Not until I know what this is about. We found two people embedded in concrete structures you designed over 50 years ago. They were alive. Can you explain that, Mr. Lansing? You didn't release them. 
God help us. Francesca Dutton and J.J. Reed for the first time in Kathmandu. Trekking to the Himalayas. It was the fashionable thing to do at the time, if you had the money. I did. Your wife was Olivia. Four of us became fast friends, but it all went ghastly wrong. And we ventured onto a side trail at the Jangala Bajang Pass. What happened? We found what we believed to be a meteorite, a broken open. <laughs> Shiny silver balls that all spilled out, glowing like so many Christmas ornaments. I didn't touch anything, of course. The others, they wanted souvenirs, you see. So they each grabbed one. And in the days that followed, I watched as their bodies changed from the inside. You believe they were possessed by an entity? An alien entity. I don't know, but our trek led us to a monastery on the Dalpo Peaks. A Hindu priest took one look at my companions and somehow recognized the demons inside. He told you to trap them in stone. It was the only way to prevent their souls from reincarnating. From carrying their evil into future bodies. So you buried them in your buildings? I had no choice. But now, you fools have released them. You have no idea what you have done. Where is she, Mr. Lansing? Your wife, Olivia. Give us the location. No! I will release no more evil. You must put them back. You must. I strongly disagree. We should have taken Frederick Lansing into custody. He's just an old shut-in. Simon, he's not going anywhere. You're a cop, Jack. How do you feel about leaving behind an attempted murderer? I have to agree with Verbin. Why doesn't that surprise me? Frederick didn't kill anyone. He was just trying to stop the first wave. What are you talking about? Francesca was telling the truth about one thing. There are aliens. But I was wrong about Francesca. She's one of them. Those orbs, the ones that Frederick found, the one you showed me from the subway, they're vessels for alien consciousness. How do you know this? I once saw a man touch one when it was glowing, and it possessed him. That must be how they originally seeded the Earth, planting orbs and meteorites, scattering them across the planet. When people found them, they were taken over by the alien entity inside. Now they're more sophisticated. They download their consciousness into genetically created human husks. You're not a cop, Jack. Who are you? Francesca and JJ, they're gone. They'll go after Frederick Lansing. Leave me alone! Take the 
No, you stand back, Verbit. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Drop your weapon, Verbit. You gotta be kidding. Drop it. She's on their side, Verbit. Simon? And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, <laughs> came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Who are you? How do you know about us? Get him! It's Olivia! So Olivia was in the house with Frederick all along. She was his wife. That's poetic. He loved her. I guess he wanted to keep her close to him. I was in the sixth grade when my turtle Shelley died. I put her in an empty peanut butter jar. She's still around here somewhere. We lost our best shot, Eddie. What are people going to believe? We have followers, Foster. Verbit was one. There's all the other people you've helped the last year and a half. One day they'll come together, rise up and be heard as one. Verbit was a friend and was the best chance I had to convince the authorities about the Gua. But at least I know I'm not the only one fighting them. There are others out there. Frederick Lansing took them on half a century ago. I pray in the end that I fare better than he did. Mm -hmm.